and crime in Oakland. Thieves ransacked the Boys and Girls Club. Thousands of dollars worth of items used for after school education was taken. Now the club and the community is responding. Here's NBC's Valina Jones. So they came here, you have to have some heavy tools to engage this. So this is the top part sliding down, so you have to take all that out. Then you have to lift it. Darnell McCullough grew up at this Boys and Girls Club on International Avenue. Now he's an employee. He says this is the first time the neighborhood safe spot has seen a major break in. The one for this club, you know, it, I wouldn't be here. And thousands of kids um, that won't be here. So this is like they safe heaven, my second home. According to McCullough, the feeble thieves cut through their steel gate to break into the building on the night before Halloween. This room is usually filled with desktop computers for the kids to use. The thieves took all of the computers here and they went from room to room stealing all the electronics they could. The thieves then used a construction bin to load up dozens of TVs, iPads, computers, gaming equipment, and even hundreds of dollars of candy. The club is currently in the midst of a construction project, and they say nearly everything stolen have been purchased within the last year. Every time we um, try to upgrade for our kids, it seems like something happened, you know, and uh, this is very disappointing because it's been a lot of work done to our club. And also that the kids can have someone safe to play. The Boys and Girls Club relies on those items to provide after school programming, including math, personal finance, and reading for 40 to 60 kids year round. For staff and the kids that they serve, this break in runs deeper than what was taken. It's also about the mental scar it leaves behind. The ones who have taken it have taken away our hearts. They have stolen the kids' hearts, and so now we have to explain to them why they can't come in here and be at home, be relaxed. So now everybody is on edge. While police investigate, the community has raised more than $10,000 to replace what was taken and installed new safety upgrades to the building. Every dollar representing a stronger, safer future for the community and community organization they love. Everybody's coming together. I believe Oakland is being rebirthed, in a sense. And it's going to take the rebirthing and development is going to take one day, one moment, and one second at a time. In o <sighs> Only on Christ 17 TV. Back upside your head with another one. Oh boy. I mean, the shit you see these days is just don't make no sense. Oakland, California. Home of Too Short. Home of Kick the Sneak. Home of the Black Panthers. Oakland has been going down the drain for years now. They lost all their major sports teams. Homeless encampments everywhere. RVs lined up. I mean, Closing down in and outs and all kind of shit in the town. Losing a lot of business, a lot of crime. You call the cops, they don't even come. I mean, so you got a boys and girls club where somewhere for the kids to go to feel safe. Feel like if they're there, they can learn, they can have fun. Without wondering, would they be a victim of crossfire in a shootout? So, somebody or some people break into this boys and girls club and steal all the computers, all the electronics, and just steal everything from these kids. And it just, it's just fucking despicable. That's the only word I can think about it is scumbaggish, despicable, and a whole lot of other words that I really don't want to say. But this is where the kids go to get away from their everyday life that is not probably a good life living in the hood, drive-bys, dope fiends, prostitution. This is where the kids get to go and maybe finish their homework, get away from all the bullshit, and have some folks who really care, who's trying to make a better place 
for the kids in the Oakland community. So, whoever did this, I'm not going to lie, you need your ass kicked a couple times. I mean, you want to go rob, I'm, go do what you do. But don't rob the Boys and Girls Club, man, where these kids got nowhere else to fucking go but to the Boys and Girls Club so they can get away from stress. Living in the town right now is stressed. If you are a kid, you can't go to the parks. All the parks are filled with homeless motherfuckers. Motherfuckers on fentanyl, motherfuckers doing dope, smoking crack. I mean, at home, you never know. Parents might be on dope. Or it's just somewhere to get away for the kids. Go somewhere where you can sit and do your homework on a computer. Somewhere where you can go and shoot the basketball. Somewhere where you can go and play pool, ping pong. Get help with your homework. Maybe you got nobody to talk to at home because your parents work and you need some advice. Boys and Girls Club. And people are breaking into this place and stealing everything from the kids like Scrooge. Like fucking Scrooge. I'm not going to lie to you. This shit is pathetic. Weak. And somebody needs their ass fucking kicked for doing this fucking despicable shit right here. I mean, who goes and robs the Boys and Girls Club? You got to be the lowest of the low piece of shit motherfuckers that i ever seen. I mean, to go actually think up this plan and say, you know what? We're going to go take from all the kids. What a piece of shit. Whoever thought this plan up, whoever went and did it, you motherfuckers going to have some real serious karma for this shit. And... I hope they find out who did this so the people in Oakland, the real motherfuckers, can find you and beat the dog shit out you motherfuckers. You don't steal from children who already don't got nothing. This is their safe haven. This is where they can go to get away from the other shit because you can't go to a park no more. Not in the town. Homeless is everywhere. People nine out on fentanyl. People smoking crack in the park. I mean, they don't have nowhere else to really go. You can't play outside no more. You might be in the crossfire of gang members who fucking go in the war over stupid shit. I mean, it's just, it's out of pocket, man. It's just, it, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth to see some kids who go look forward to going to the Boys and Girls Club because they can actually feel safe, shoot some hoop, shoot some pool, get some help with some homework, get on the computer because they might not have one at home, and just, just somewhere to get away. And some motherfucker is going to break in there and steal all the computers, all the electronics, and what else they stole? Did they, did they take the basketballs? Did they take the ping pong ball? I mean, who knows what they took, but this is some real scandalous fucking bullshit. And it's out of pocket. Like, they need some way to break a foot off in their ass, like, like for real. This shit is like, who does shit like that? Who does shit like that? I mean, man, man, man. The donations pouring in is great. I wish... Mr. Fab will go over there and speak about it and help these, help them out if he hasn't already done it because he's trying to save Oakland. And that's what they need. Somebody like Fab who's trying to build back his community that he was raised in because it's going down the drain. It lost the Oakland Raiders. It lost the Golden State Warriors. And this year it has lost the Oakland A's. And every time I go to fucking Oakland, it's like, damn, it looked worse and worse and worse. So this is where the kids have to go for a safe haven where they can get away from the everyday bullshit, from seeing homeless to dope fiends to prostitution to killing to dead bodies to maybe even their own parents on fucking drugs to get away somewhere for a few hours out the day. 
And this is what these motherfuckers do is they break into this place. You already broke into all the restaurants where they closing down shit. You motherfuckers ain't going to be able to eat nothing soon. You're going to have to drive to somewhere else to eat. Because they're closing down the Denny's. They're closing down the In-N-Out because you motherfuckers keep robbing it. Stupid ass shit. You're tearing down your own community to when you don't have no community no more. What you going to do then? What you going to do then when... When they just shut the whole town down and redo it and start knocking everything down and gentrify it all the way. Where that you really don't have nowhere to go. Because you, you're driving everything out of your community. Like a bunch of fucking idiots. Instead of building it up, saving the city, you want to burn it down and tear it down. You fucking break it into boys and girls club. What, what a bunch of fucking bums. What a bunch of fucking bums. <laughs> I'm telling you, what a bunch of fucking bums. This shit pisses me off. To the fullest. And that's all I'm about to say on that shit. But somebody needs their ass kicked, and I mean fast. Taking all the shit for the kids at the Boys and Girls Club. Gotta be the most, most fucking shittiest thing a motherfucker could absolutely do in a robbery is rob from kids. I was a kid. I used to have a stepfather that used to take my fucking games and sell my games. I know how it is for somebody to take from a, a fucking kid. I know how that feels. And it's a horrible feeling. You come home from school, you're looking for your games to play, and your games aren't there no more. But you find out he took it to the bodega and sold it to the guy at the bodega for his kids. Makes you feel like shit. And guess what? When we found out after, that motherfucker was out of here. So, <laughs> taking from kids is the most shittiest thing a motherfucker can do. So with that being said, man, I hope they get what they deserve I hope I hope the donations pour in I hope they can replace all that secure the place way better so these idiots don't come back and try to steal from the kids a second time so with that being said man hit that like hit that subscribe won't cost you a dime like I tell you every time there's people out here who really really ain't shit don't care about nothing but they fucking self and would steal from a fucking kid in the blink of an eye because that's the kind of piece of shit people they are. And whatever happens to people like that, so be it. Y'all ain't shit anyway. Christ 17 TV, catch you on the flip side, man.